Well, you know what time it is. It's Millennium County time. <laughs> All right, so what we're doing today is... Uh, we're going to go ahead... <laughs> we're going to paint the caboose. So I found one of my cabooses, or cabeces, or whatever you call them. And I put white primer on it. And it's getting ready for final paint. I actually bought some. Here we got here. Orange airbrush paint. So we're going to make an attempt to airbrush it. So. Uh, when I'm ready to airbrush, I'll set it up and you can see me brush it. And we'll go from there. So stay tuned. This is going to be a single part series, I think. Maybe two parts, but more than likely single. So anyway, stay tuned and we'll be back in a minute. Okay, so I guess we're going to start by spraying the base coat, which is going to be blue because I'm going to have blue stripes. So I'll paint it blue, let it dry, stripe it, and shoot it orange for the final coat. So we'll see how this works. the airbrush ready to go. Backwards from the camera's point of view. Set a few minutes. Well, I said a few minutes. <laughs> you know, I wonder it'd be cool to have like a blue roof and an orange body. Wouldn't that be different? I don't know though. It's a tough call. I don't know I'm going to stripe it either, but. I'll figure that out soon enough. We'll give it a few minutes to dry and I'll shoot another coat on it. I'm not sure I want to stripe it yet either, but I might just go a horizontal line all the way while we're on both sides. And yeah, that's probably all I'm going to do. So. Might be a waste of paint, painting the whole thing of the base color, but I don't know. We'll see.
It's a good coat for the first base. Like I said, I'll probably just run a stripe going that way. Or maybe this and then up. Not quite sure yet. I'll figure it out though. Or maybe go up like this so I can put my logo here and my lettering here. Put the logo here and the Millennium County above the stripe. That would work. Yeah, I think that will work. I have to put a little bit more paint up there on the top if I want to do that. Well, that's going to be it for the moment. I'll let that dry in maybe, well, probably about an hour or so. Then I'll go ahead and stripe it. And I'll show you another picture of it striped. And then we'll go ahead and do the orange. So for now, I'm going to pause the camera and I'll be back in a couple hours, which to you will only be a couple of seconds. So stay tuned. Alright, now it's time to I got the striping on there. I don't know if you can see it too well or not, but we're going to go ahead and paint the uh, second coat orange. Here we go. It's going to be tricky, isn't it? Okay, I'm back. <clears throat> now, I wasn't satisfied with the orange covering that, so I went ahead and reprimed it in white. And now we'll see what the uh, airbrush of the orange will cover a little better. be a lot
take care of the first coat. Now we'll wait. I started doing the cupola or cupola or whatever it's called. I don't know if you can see that or not. Right there. I got to throw a little bit more paint on that yet. It's going to look pretty good. I'm, I'm hoping anyway. We won't know until we finish the coats and then pull the striping off and then decals. So I'm not going to do this in parts. I think I'm just going to do it all one shot. So it might be a little long. I'm not sure. But in any case, it, uh, it'll be finished so you'll be able to see it, or at least mostly finished. And I've got to make, it looks like somebody took my old trick with the windows. Yeah, they took the uh, colored um, plastic, I guess you can call it. I, I actually got the uh, fo file folders that are plastic and they come in different colors and it works good for windows. Um, I think I did that in the bank as a matter of fact on some of them. Yeah, I did. And I used a dark blue to simulate normal tint. And I'll probably do the same thing on this here. And the only difference is I'm going to do all the windows. Because the way it was before he had green, the green tint in there, whoever had to boost before me. I didn't buy it. Anyway, I bought it used on eBay. And they only did the bottom windows. They didn't do anything in the cupola or I guess that's called the cupola or cupola. I'm not sure. And they didn't do the doors or the little windows or anything. They just did the big windows in the, in the, on the sides. So I'm going to do them all because, you know, that's the way it should be done. I'll also paint the stack uh, black in you know, the smokestack for the, uh, I guess they have an oven in there or something, or a heater. Uh, I won't put any interior details into it because you won't be able to see them through the tent anyway. And I'm not going to light this one up. I lit up the other one that I bought brand new. And it came out pretty good. It's got the little tail lights in the back and the inside lighting. My problem is I couldn't get the capacitor to work right, so it doesn't stay on, it flickers. So I may have to re, re go through that again so, at some point in time, but for right now it's fine the way it is. So anyway, this is this this uh, video here is going to cover just the caboose, this one here. And we'll show it from start to finish. So I'm going to pause the camera for a bit. I'll come back or I'll spray the successive coats on and I'll come back when I'm ready to pull the pinstripe off. Not sure. We'll figure it out when we get to it. So stay tuned. Alright, and there you have it. I just finished the final coat on it. I'll let it sit overnight to dry. Tomorrow we'll pull off the, uh, the pinstriping to see the blue underneath of it and then we'll do the decals on there and some whatever finishing touches with the paint. Like I said, I'll do this this exhaust stack up here in black. Or maybe silver, I don't know. Maybe silver would look better, wouldn't it? And we'll get the couple of put back on. We'll get all the windows tinted out and get it back on its chassis and it'll be ready to roll. So stay tuned. We'll be back in a little while as far as you guys are concerned and we'll see what it looks like. So, 
the caboose is done and it came out really really good and I'm going to show it to you in a minute and I, I have my you know this is the first shirt I did see if I can and you can't put those clear decals on a colored shirt but it's still it's kind of cool it's still there I mean you can sort of see it it's a nice shirt so maybe one of these days, well, you know, I'll have to get the iron-ons that are, uh, that have the white background. That would probably work for this. Anyway, before I go any further, i got to point out a really stupid mistake I made. And it is stupid. Now, let me put my glasses on here so I can see what I'm talking about. Ugh. Now, I bought this at Hobby Lobby, and I didn't have my reading glasses with me. And my wife is almost as blind as I am, <laughs> as far as up close things. She's got good far vision like me, but she forgot her glasses, because we actually share reading glasses a lot. Anyway, if you look at this, it looks pretty orange, doesn't it? Except it's not. And I couldn't read it. It says Sunrise Yellow on it. <laughs> I really kind of screwed up. And it wasn't until after I shot the caboose that I realized, that's not orange, it's yellow. Sort of. I mean, it's got like an orange tint to it, but still basically it's kind of yellow. But in any case, it still came out looking real good. I'm not going to fool with it. I've decaled it. I clear coated it to seal the decals in. I mounted it back on the frame. And I actually hooked it up behind the, uh, the Millennium County engine that I just did. And uh, let me see if I can get everything started here. Well, it's too bad they don't make these things always activated, you know. Now, by the way, I run Digitracks. Well, some people don't like it, some do. I like it. It was the first one I bought. Uh, it's not quite as easy to use as the DCE. I think it's the DC or NCE, rather. But it still works. So, I have no real problems with it. So, without further ado, I'm going to zoom it on that. Let's advance the engine a little bit. Or not. Darn gremlins. They're always there. And there it is. It is. That brand new. Let me set this thing on. There we go. The brand new redecorated caboose. Now I thought I did a, real, a really excellent job on it. I'm dropping things all over the place here. Alright, so anyway. I don't think I can zoom in any closer than that. Well, that's about it. You can see that I got the Millennium County lettering here. I've got the famous Millennium County logo in the back and above it. And I don't know if you can see it or not. It's kind of tough. But I've got the, I guess you call it like a road number. So anyway, and of course there's a little guy in the back. I guess you can see him too. The thing came out beautifully. I tinted the windows. Um, they look like they're blackened, but they're not. You actually can see through them if you look really hard. It's a blue tint. I did the cupola, and I did all the, the windows all the way around. The exhaust stack for the stove, or whatever that's supposed to be, I painted silver. Well, together, I think it came out really nice. 
And I almost wish I'd have painted the engine the same color scheme. That would have been beautiful. But I'm not redoing really it. <laughs> yeah. So anyway, this is just one in a long line of other cars I'll be doing. Um, it's probably going to be the last one for a while because it's kind of expensive to do this. I had to buy the paint. Paint was five bucks for that little bottle. Um, and the, uh, the decal paper is quite expensive too. I'm glad I got the mixed one. I got both the white backing and the clear backing. Because on these light colored uh, paint jobs, the clear backing was beautiful. And I'm really happy with how it came out. So anyway, that's going to be it for this chapter of redoing the repainting the caboose. Stay tuned for the next uh, video. It'll be coming out in a few days. We'll be playing with some fake water. <laughs> I've, uh, I'll explain it later, but be sure to watch it when it comes out. And of course, remember, there is a contest. I'm at 123 subscribers. I need two more. Two subscribers. Just two. And we can do the contest, and that's for the HO uh, Railroad Crossing decal set. Also, want to thank uh, Barn Full of Trains. He gave me a real nice shout out to actually today, this morning. Really appreciate that. And I don't know your name, unfortunately. You never put it up there. At least I don't think you did. But so I'll just call you Barn. <laughs> So, Barn, thanks again for that shout-out. Thanks to everybody else for the shout-outs that you've given me, too. Uh, it really helped. Uh, Vinny's Friday night video yesterday. I picked up, like, five subscribers right down in there. That was great. Thank you, Vinny. So, I just got to get two more and we can do this contest. And believe me, I'm itching to give this stuff away. <laughs> so... If you have any friends or you know anybody that, you know, should probably be looking at these videos, tell them to subscribe so I can get this contest going. Of course, remember, even if you're a new subscriber, if you leave a comment on this video or any of the previous ones where I announced the contest, you will automatically be entered in the contest. It will be a drawing. No questions, no fancy stuff, just a simple drawing. Try I get my wife to pull your name out of my, uh, I had over here, <laughs> and uh, we'll do that, you know, it won't be live, because I'm still not crazy about doing things live, but it will be videotaped, and I'll post it, and the winner will receive the free, uh, the, free uh, the free decals. So, be sure and uh, enter, because I think we're probably going to get those two subscribers pretty soon, I'm pretty sure. So, get your name entered, you'll get a chance at it. And there'll be other contests too, you know. I don't know when uh, or what the criteria will be, but I'll let you know when the time comes. In the meantime, keep it on the rails. Thank you for watching, and we'll see you next time. Bye.